Hey, what's up everybody? This is AJ coming to you once again from the Thwip side. Today my co-host Carl and I want to take a look at this empty box. <laughs> nah, just kidding. It is, today we're going to look at the DC Multiverse Deathstroke from McFarlane. First we'll take a look at the few accessories he comes with and then we'll take a closer look at Slade. Of course, the McFarland stand, what we always get, no big deal. And of course, the cool trading cards that we get. Deathstroke from Markham Origins with his bio, really cool. And then his sword, which plugs into the back like so. Really cool, just got some techie detail, not bad, a little bent due to the sheath which going over the sheath to start looking at the figure it's only a half sheath and it plugs into the back here but yeah so when you put the sword in you can see it and you just line up you know this way and you get it down in Crashing on anything? Yeah, so that's why it bends. But you can see it. I've heard a lot of people griping about that. It is kind of awkward, but I've seen real life sheaths that look like that. I'm not making excuses because I would definitely like to see a full sheath. But anyway, that's a small. That's a small. I popped it off. Small nitpick to compared to what else we got going on here. So right off the bat, I'm very torn with this figure. <laughs> he looks amazing, but is very wonky. And wonk by wonky, I mean just in the presentation, as you, if you, as you can see here, he doesn't look lined up. <laughs> he goes straight down, and then here at his waist is crooked. And a lot of times, depending on how you have him, it looks like his legs, like right now, it doesn't it look like his legs are, one leg is longer than the other? Like this leg looks like it's up farther. And I've moved them all around to try. I thought maybe this rubber piece was the reason. I think it was a look they were going for. To have it like a belt, like slanted at the hip. But the whole crotch piece is like that. And no matter what I do, I can't see if you try to make it straight with the torso straight with the crotch then you get this lean so i don't know what's going on with that it's almost like i th it's almost like this leg is as you can see you can see the gap there and you can see it in there more so than this side so it's almost like either this one is crammed up too far or this one wasn't plugged in enough but i can't get it any farther up but it makes him look if you're just trying to vanilla pose him it's really wonky it's actually really kind of bugging me to be honest with you wonkiness aside though the sculpt is really nice on the one side you get the nice gold pup plating of his mask with his eye recessed in the back which looks really cool and then the other side of course where he would have a patch when he's unmasked it's all nice and textured, and you actually get that nice texture, uh, texture throughout. And I like all the armor plating. You get down to like the scale mail, a lot of nice details. The bullets, some more gold details. I mean, like I said, it's more of that chain mail here, silvery chain mail. The straps. I mean, everything is textured and. Just really nice, nice clean paint. I'm just going down the look. He does have a gun in the holster that does not come off, which is disappointing because Deathstroke uses guns and there's not one usable gun accessory, which is a disappointment and a detriment to the figure. You continue down. I mean, the same aesthetic is everywhere, like the knee pads. 
and I like like what would be like a ninja bandana or something coming off. Sometimes in the comics it's like hair. It looks really cool. I'd be careful though. I mean it's a soft material, material but I wouldn't yank on it. I'm afraid it'd pop out. Then, of course, down to his wonky legs. He's got the straps, more pouches. Nice gold paint. I mean, the paint-wise and the detail is awesome. But, again, stand him like that. He just can't get in a straight pose. Yeah. Going over articulation, unfortunately, there are some hiccups here as well. We'll start off at the head. He can turn both ways. Just be careful when you're doing that. I keep on putting my finger here, and that's what's going to end up ripping this off. I just know it, and then I'm going to be really pissed. But anyway, his head will go up that far, look down that far, and you get some good tilt. So not much up and down, but some good side to side and tilt. Shoulder pad here, or his bicep pad, is on a separate piece, so it will get out of the way. So you can go up about that far. You can rotate all around. He does have a bicep swivel that goes back a little bit. This is, it all crashes and rubs, but you can get that far back in more so. Then he has double jointed elbows that are really nice that go all the way up. And then he has the wrist swivel and it hinges up and down or if you turn and manipulate it side to side nothing at the diaphragm for articulation it's all in the waist so you can get swivel some these a really nice tilt actually he will arc back that far crunch forward kind of decent amount but the problem here I want to know is when he's arced forward this much, when he's crunched forward this much, he can't lift the leg. There's just not enough room under here between this piece and what's going on in there and the cut here at the waist or the waist mechanism. Which is really disappointing because Deathstroke is a martial artist and he's always seen in really cool dynamic poses. And that just doesn't work with this figure. So that's a huge disappointment. Um, you get a little swivel at the hip. This one more so. I'm still kind of convinced this might be broken or not in all the way. I don't know. You can just see way too much. I've never seen a McFarland figure where you can see that much gap going on. I don't know what's going on with it. I don't know if it's a QC issue. Oh, I think I just popped some. I don't know. I don't know if it's a QC issue or what, but it's really frustrating. But continuing on, he will, when he's not crunched forward, he will kick up that far, kick back that far. He's got the double jointed knees that look like they can go up farther, but it start, there's a cut to go a little farther, but this crashes, this part of the sculpt crashes into this part of the sculpt. He's got nice rocker, nice tilt. We'll go back that far, forward a little. This pad crashes into the foot, as you can see, and then toe articulation. I was going to do some size comparisons like I usually do, but I really don't want to spend any more time on that because this figure really bums me out. I remember I was so excited for him when he was first announced. The promo pictures were awesome. In hand, he looks incredible If as long as you keep him in a pose like this where his wonky legs and waist that make him look off kilter can't be noticed. Um, very disappointed with the whole waist and legs crashing into each other prohibiting a lot of cool poses that Deathstroke should definitely be um, allowed to get into for a figure. Uh, that being said, I, I'm just really bummed. I mean, because he does look fantastic. Now that, you know, I have him posed a tiny bit where you can't, where he's not lopsided. He looks awesome, but just not being able to get in, get him into any dynamic poses, that's a real bummer. Um, the sheaths, a lot of people 
griped about. That doesn't really bother me. Like I said, I have seen sheaths like that. Yes, would I have liked a full sheath? Definitely yes. But that, to me, is not the thing that kills this figure. The thing that kills this figure is all the wonkiness going here. And it's a real shame. Like, I am bummed. I'm sorry, guys. But a figure that looks this good shouldn't be, shouldn't have been executed so poorly. So, if you're a fan of the line, I'd say pick him up. I mean, but I can't really recommend him. And that really sucks because he looks fantastic. Uh, so, that with that being said, I have no choice but to sadly give him a big, huge boo, Carl. So yeah, sorry for that it wasn't a very positive review, but I wanted to give my honest opinion after having him in hand. I'm not going to take to the internet and trash talk him or anything, but yeah, he's not a very good figure. I'll probably, oh, and also one other thing, the lack of any gun accessories deathstroke wields guns and a sword and to have a gun that's not removable kind of really sucks i mean that's just another thing uh i'm not usually this negative um but yeah i've got to call it what like i see it and i want to give you my honest opinion so this is really besides animated batman this is the only figure that I'm really down on in the line, which is good for the line overall, but this one was a real bummer because it is Deathstroke. But that being said, drop me a comment to let me know what you guys think of him. Am I too harsh or am I dead on? Whatever, whatever your opinion is, I'd love to hear it. And while you're at it, why don't you hit like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll catch you guys later on the thwip side.